said to reconnect, so I'm assuming that we're going to have the same wonderful <laughs> connection issues that we always have with YouTube. Hi, everyone. Okay, so I think we're better. I hope. Okay, so we're going to all just, we're just going to hope and pray. <laughs> hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Okay, so I have lots of stuff to talk about tonight. And then also we're going to be making stuff tonight. So there's that. So I'm really excited. Um, and uh, we have lots of lots of fun things to do. So uh, first and foremost, I am... I have been told there are some things that I need to talk about first of all, and I'm going to do so. This guy, a lot of you guys have been introduced to him, or her, doesn't matter, him or her. Um, <clears throat> we are in our final quantities, so I'm not going to open up, I'm not going to open up any of the little doors. Uh, these have begun shipping today. So they are on their way to you. We are in, like I said, our very final quantities of them. December 1st, <clears throat> excuse me, I am going to begin making cards with all of the things that are inside of here. So you should receive your shipping notification very soon. Again, there are 25 stamps in this advent calendar and um, we are in our absolute final quantities. I did link it below. I'm not going to talk about it too much tonight because, like I said, we are <clears throat> at the end already. And I know it's crazy. We just launched it, what, Thursday, Friday? <clears throat> I know we just launched it. So just wanted to give you guys that heads up. Also, something else that was put into my take-home live bag <clears throat> to chat about, um, the... Uh, there's a special promo today only, and I don't know, oh, uh-oh, I might not have linked these. Hold on one moment. I actually know that I didn't, so I'm going to do that right now. These uh, right now are 30% off, making them, literally, we should, like I say all the time, we should just be giving them away. Um, an insane low price for this size of a stamp. I'm going to go in right now, and I'm going to link them. Bear with me. One moment so that they are down there for you. Um, so these are 30% off that sale. It's like a, you know, like a flash product sale ends at midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time. So I'm going to go, I'm going to link those below really quick for you right now. So these are going to be, um, again, the sale ends tonight at midnight they're 30 percent off so if you have been looking for uh the alphabet stamp or you've been waiting to get the alphabet stamp because you wanted to wait for it to go on sale or maybe go on special and i'll show you what these are in just one second after i get everything linked up for you there we go um <clears throat> these are the two alphabet stamps that were launched in june so we have Lowercase bold alphabet, and now this is um, the uh, fill and the lines. Okay, so these are the fill and the lines, and you get double letters, so it's really, really easy. That was very important to me. Hi, Simon. Very important to me to make sure that you got multiple of the letters so that you are able to use multiple. So, like, there's two R's, two S's. Two I's, two C's, two A's, um, so and so on and so forth. So then we have the bold uppercase outline and the bold uppercase uh, fill in. So again, these are the um, two different stamp sets that are thirty percent off tonight. This does end at midnight, so if you love alphabet stamps, um, I have some fun things that I've been working on with these two. Grab them while you can. All right, so let me put those to the side, and let's get to talking about... Um, hello! Artistically creative, hello! Um, so, okay, so who wants to make something? Um, I do. 
I know you guys can't see my hand up, but my hand is up. <laughs> I really want to make something, so I hope that you guys really want to make something too. Okay. So, I have some new stuff to share with you. The first thing I'm going to share with you, I have to I have to share with you before our dear Sandy Bradley buys them all. Because she's now been to the store twice to purchase them. That's how severe it's gotten. <laughs> that's how that's how severe it is. <laughs> so, I need to share these with you guys before she buys every last one of them. Um, and those are the Brutus Monroe card guards. So this is something we've been working on for a while, and it's finally come to fruition. Hi, Sandy. These are the Brutus Monroe card guards. I'm going to show you what they are very quickly because they're, it's a very simple concept. You get 10 of them in a pack. I'm going to pull these out because these are going to have to, because since they're going so fast, they have to go right back into the store. Uh... So what they are is they fit your A2 size cards completely open. So I know that a lot of you guys give your cards away or you sell your cards. And what they do is you slide your card in all the way. You peel this guy off. You fold it over. Seal it. And then look at this. It's so, it protects your cards. So if you want to sell your cards, uh, you can put a little price tag on the back. So the nice thing about this is any leave that we had seen in the past, they have two little, like, it's almost like a book cover. Do you know what I mean? So it's almost like the, the, the two pieces slide in on either protected. So it would be only like, you know, this part and this part. So we uh, created the card cards so that you can slip this inside and it has extra room as you'll see a little extra room at the top and the bottom so that you are able to have some dimensional things inside as well so uh the price point i am not sure what the price point is for subscribers penny my dear penny are you here penny is always our our price um our price wizard uh i know that they are 3.99 for uh, regular everyday um, customers, but uh, for our subscribers, I'm not sure what that price point is. But I know for a pack of 10 of them, it's a it's a crazy deal to make sure you protect all of your cards. So we will, of course, be using these um, tonight on the cards that I make. And from if you ever receive a card from me, because uh, you know how I send the cards out if I make them, if you ever receive a card from me from now on, they will be in a card guard so that um, so that you are they're protected, if that makes sense. And I think Penny is here, so I'm sure Penny is probably looking at the price for us right now. Three thirty nine for a pack of two that I want to use tonight is something else that we've been working on for a long time, and I can't wait to teach you. Hi, Candy. I can't wait to teach you how to use these. Ah, oh, my mom is doing great. She's doing great. All right. So these are, and I can't wait to show you my favorite way to use these. I'm sure you guys are going to find a gajillion different ways to use these, but I'm going to show you my favorite way. So let me zoom in a little bit because, you know, I want you to get up close and personal on these. These are the new Shimmer Flakes. And the Shimmer Flakes, again, are something we have been working on for a long time. And I want you to get up close and personal with these shimmer flakes. Okay, I don't know what happened. Oh, YouTube. I'm hoping you can see. Um, I did show it on, I showed it on Friday. Okay, 
Let's zoom in and let's hope that this works. <laughs> These are the brand new Shimmer Flakes. And the Shimmer Flakes are, oh my goodness. They're just absolutely stunning. I'm going to give you a close-up of these. And they are a beautiful flake mica medium. So we're going to use these today. I want to show you how my favorite thing, favorite way to use them. So these are the shimmer flakes. This one is pink. Then, of course, we have green. And these are sold in a set or individually. Then we have orange <laughs> purple oh did it not upload i'll have to make sure we we i re-upload it purple yellow See, that's my fault. I just always assume that it's uploading whenever I schedule it, so I'll have to fix that. And blue. Heidi, I'm going to show you. Now, you can use them as a um, base, like as a, um, for, like, if you want to do, um, like a shaker card, but I'm going to show you my favorite way to use them. So let me zoom out a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the Easy Cut Adhesive, which I know that you um, that you used. Um, I'm not sure, I've never, never used the fake snow stuff, Trudy. So um, it's, it's like a mica flick. So I'm not, I'm not sure, I can't, I can't, uh, can't comment on that because I haven't um, haven't myself used that. Okay, so I'm going to show you my favorite way to use it, and that is to create a background. So. I'm gonna take some of the Easy Cut Adhesive. I'm gonna grab my new Martha Stewart um, trimmer here that you guys sold us out of, but we got more in, so don't, so don't worry, we got more of them in. Whoops, that's two tags. Okay, so four, we'll just do, we'll just cut it down to four. Okay. Yes, the purple is pretty. They're all, I mean, they're all really pretty, to tell you the honest goodness truth, but purple is one of my favorite. But I'm going to show you um, how to use it as a rainbow. So I'm using some of the Easy Cut Adhesive, which you guys definitely sold us out of. So hopefully um, we should be getting more in very soon. Okay. So then what I do is I take... Um, well, actually, let me get my... Well, no, we don't have to worry about that yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off the back of this Easy Cut Adhesive. Yeah, it was... It went quick. But we're ordering more. Don't worry. We uh, usually are really well stocked up, but you guys went wild. All right, so let me grab a piece of scrap paper. Hello, Hannah. And we're going to go in rainbow order. Wait till you see how pretty this turns out. This is one of my favorite ways to use it. So I'm going to start with the pink. And then we're just going to kind of... Tap that off a little bit. And I'm going to put it back into its container. Okay. So we're starting out with the pink. 
I'm gonna put that to the side so I don't use that one again right away. So start with the pink and then we're gonna go to the orange. This is our new, these are our new shimmer flakes. I can't wait till you see what happens when I run it through the machine. Okay, so there's the orange. Ooh, is it pretty? And I know that some of you, uh, some of you mixed media folk out there are probably thinking about a thousand ideas. Now we're gonna grab the yellow. I'm gonna throw a little bit up towards the top there. Okay, there's the yellow. Now there's multiple ways, of course, that you could do this. I'm just doing it my favorite way. <laughs> Then we're gonna use the beautiful green. Um, the die cutting machine for pressure. It does not need heat. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of blue right towards the bottom. Cause I accidentally threw that all the way down. Oh my goodness, these shimmer flakes, okay. And now some blue. I know, me too, Caroline. It almost looks like sequins. Now a little bit of blue at the bottom. It didn't quite stick because the blue, um, it wasn't enough. Wasn't enough sticky left. All right, oh my goodness, you guys are grabbing these. Whew. Thank you, thank you for everybody who's ordering them. You haven't even seen me use them yet, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Hi, D. Okay, well, it's gonna, it doesn't fall off really uh, a lot um, when you, when you use it uh, this way. Obviously, you can apply some just regular pressure, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it through this, through the machine, and it's gonna wait till you see. This changes everything. Now, if after you see me pull this out, if you don't purchase it, I can't help you because this is, it's just so unique. Okay, so let me go ahead and put this. Yeah, it's almost like rock candy. Absolutely. Okay, so now we ran it through with the pressure. Let me move this out of the way. You can see it doesn't do anything to my plates. And let me show you now. I'm gonna have to bring it up. I'm gonna have to zoom in a little bit so you can see. Look at how beautiful this background is. And it's not gonna flake off. Isn't that the coolest thing you've ever seen? Now imagine if you use, the glitter glue would work, yes. Now, of course, you could take a pair of scissors and just trim off the little pieces. It is just a, you know, a mica flake, so it won't hurt anything. It does look like glass. Go ahead and cut off all those little pieces. Now, don't throw these little pieces away. Keep these little pieces in a little bag. Use them later. But look at this. Isn't that just the coolest thing? I mean, imagine this as the background of your card. And I'm hoping the light is picking up just how opulent and beautiful this is. Isn't that so cool? Thanks, Renee. Um, you don't have to seal it, Roberta. You do not have to seal it. It's not going to go anywhere. But here it is closer. It really just looks like, I mean, almost like stained glass. It's very different. 
so you don't have to, um, oh, yes. So cool. Uh, oh, also, oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot to tell you. Anybody that's in love with our mystery boxes, whew, I completely forgot. They are back on the website. So if you want one of the mystery boxes, Michael has stuffed them full. Stuff them full. They are also available at the link down below. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot to tell you guys. They are, if you love our inspiration boxes and you love all the goodies in the inspiration boxes, uh, these, uh, these boxes are full of inspiration box products. They also uh, have some products from some of our friends. We were going through a lot of the stuff from the anniversary party last year, and we had lots of extras. So you're going to get that in the mystery boxes too. So you might not just get Brutus Monroe branded products. You might get products from our friends at Honeybee. You might get products from our friends, our, our friend Gina Kay. You might get products from uh, a lot of our different friends um, from May May Made It. Um, you never know what you might get in one of those mystery boxes. So um, obviously the higher tier is going to have a lot more in them um, and so on and so forth. But I just want to let you guys know that the mystery boxes exist and they are out there. All right. So now I'm going to use some easy cut adhesive again because I am going to be making a thank you card. So I want to use the die of the month and we're going to use some um, foil because I'm making another thank you card because I have been making thank you cards like they are going out of style. Oh my goodness, you guys are scooping up these shimmer flakes. Oh my goodness gracious. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't wait. Actually, I bet we could run this through. Let's try that. One, two. Yes. DDN. There are three. Thank you, Penny. Oh my goodness. Somebody put Penny on the payroll. Um, there are three different a $9.99, a $24.99, and a $49.99. Obviously, there's gonna be double the value inside of the box. Um, but we made sure to do them at three different levels because I know that we have a lot of friends that um can afford certain levels. So I made sure that we had them at all different levels. So I hope that's okay for you guys. We did them at different levels for everyone to be able to afford them. And that's what we're going to do from here on out. We're always going to have different levels. Now, the smaller levels are probably going to sell out. Well, I don't know. Last time, the smaller, um, the smaller levels did not sell out as quickly as the higher levels. So it's up to you. But we did the lower levels so that you would be able to, um, oh, this might not work. Well, shall we give it a try anyway? Let's give it a try anyway. Let's run it through. It's because the, the, the tag is not as big as the die. I'm going to run it through twice. Just for good measure. Yes, prayers, prayers, prayers. Okay. All right. Oh, I think I needed to apply a little bit more pressure, but you can see uh, Sandy, no, it will not rub off. Look, I mean, I'm pushing, I'm rubbing with all of my might. I mean, I can't push any harder. <laughs> it's not coming off. Isn't that cool? It's not going anywhere. Oh my goodness, you guys, hopefully you could save some for everyone else. <laughs> but yeah, it's. I just needed to add a little bit more. Plus, it's a very intricate die, but you could see it, you know, see, it did cut, but I don't want to, I want to, I'm going to run it through again later. But look how cool that is. 
That's really cool. Okay. So now let's go ahead. I'm going to show you what I'm going to make. So I'm going to grab the easy, another sheet of easy cut adhesive. My favorite. Imagine the Christmas cards. Imagine the Christmas ornaments that you could make. All right. So I am just running through the die. And now I'm going to flip it and run it through one more time. Because remember, the die of the month is a very, very intricate die every month. Ooh, okay, you guys, if anybody's watching this on the replay and the mystery boxes are gone, do not worry. We will have mystery boxes in the future. Um, we do them about once every quarter uh, because as it looks right now with how many folks have the mystery box in their cart, um, they're not going to last long. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up because sometimes people get angry with me if they come back in the... The mystery boxes are gone if they watch the replay later. All right, so let's move these pieces out of the way. Pop out all the little pieces here. That should be most of them. And for, let's see, any that are popped out, I can get them out now. I just love this die. I wanna use this die all the time. All right, so it looks like, yeah, looks like all the pieces fell out. That's great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off just one side, which is the back side of it. And I don't know if you guys have gotten a chance yet um, to take a look at the Brutus and Ra I don't know if it's the fan page. Stop me if I'm wrong, Heather, but I believe, I think... It was the fan page um, where it was posted. I can't remember 100%, um, but there is a beautiful, beautiful card in the uh, on the fan page. And who posted that? Um, who was it? I think it was on the fan page. It's escaping me who posted it, though. It was gorgeous, though. I love the paper that she used. Pamela! Yes, Pamela! I knew as soon as I saw your name, I would remember. Yes, Pamela! Did you guys see the card she made? Oh, my word. Oh, there was something else that I was supposed to tell you guys about. <laughs> so who's all coming to the anniversary party? So I'm just burnishing this down, and you'll see what I'm fixing to do in a second. Okay, so anybody that's coming to the anniversary party, did you guys get the email invite for the Merry Craftmas the day after? Did everybody get the email about that? If not, I'm fixing to post it right now because if you are coming to the, um, if you're coming to the event, we only have five spots left for Merry Craftmas, literally five spots. Um, and if you think that we're going to spoil you, uh, not sure I've been on vacation. Um, if you think we're going to spoil you at the anniversary party, <whistles> wait till you see what we're going to spoil you with at the uh, Merry Craftmas event. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. All right. So when I'm... Oh, that's okay, Karen. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to peel off this layer. Remember, it is double-sided adhesive. So just as a heads up, there's only five spots left. So if you can't make it, that's okay. But I, you know, I always want to let you guys know when things are on their way out. Because Merry Craftmas, we are doing so much. Oh my goodness, are we going to have so much fun. Oh, that's okay, Tracy. 
we're going to have a br little brunch breakfast and it's going to be a lot of fun in the store. Very intimate setting. Because I believe it's only open to 25 people. Oh, Carolyn, I appreciate you. We're going to have so much fun. I promise it will be worth it. I promise. All right, so all I'm doing is taking my green sketch deco foil and I'm just burnishing it on top here. And also, if you, I, that's another thing that I should mention. Even if you're not coming to the anniversary party, you are more than welcome, more than welcome to come to Merry Craftmas. You don't have to come to the anniversary party to attend. That's okay, Kara. What will be, will be. You know, we always say that. And look at that. Isn't that the coolest thing you ever did see? We'll find a way. Don't worry. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? I know Pamela's fixing to get to her craft room if she's not already in there. <laughs> now that she has seen this. <laughs> because she's like me. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead. And this is going to be the easiest thank you card you ever did see. She said I'm already there. I had a feeling. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Now remember, this is the set uh that you get in the inspiration box i think we have like i think we have like 12 inspiration boxes left so if you want one of those inspiration boxes grab it i didn't link it down below though i forgot can't remember to link everything i, I wish i could i try all right so we're gonna go ahead and Ink up the U Rock from the stamp set. And let's see, we'll do U Rock, we'll do it down here. And there you go. It says U Rock. And how easy. I know, I love this die too. I really do. I think that this is probably going to be the second month that we sell out of the die of the month. Wait till you guys see next month's die of the month. If you haven't signed up for die of the month yet, first of all, I don't know what you're waiting for. But second of all, next month, it's a doozy. Okay. Night, night. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and pop this guy in here because obviously I am going to sign all of these thank you cards that I'm sending out to all of my dear friends that have sent my mama cards. Thank you. Thank you. She has gotten so many cards. I have to post a, um, I'm going to have to post another picture. If you guys could see how many cards she's gotten, you guys are just the best. Oh, what's this sticking to? I must not have, hold on, let me, she is good, she's very good, she's doing so much better, there are still some areas that were sticky, so I had to put that down on there real quick, um, I, the color theory class, I believe is, I want to say it's, I want to say it's, I think it's next weekend, and then, um, oh, good, Mrs. Whitlock. And then the second marker class, you'll there's a big announcement coming um, in two weeks, and that's when the marker class will be announced because anyone that signed up for the marker 102 class is getting a special surprise from me. Maybe I'll do a little tour and show you all the cards. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, I know about, believe me, I know. Yes, you're getting a special surprise from me, D, and I hope you like it. I think you will. <laughs> so the problem is, and I've just figured out the problem. See, there's adhesive on the opposite side.
Yeah, you should be getting an email very, very soon. But I'll double check tomorrow. Scout's Honor. It's because of the adhesive that's on the opposite side. Do you see? Did you see that? Um, I did not. I had those made, Trudy. I didn't do them. So I don't know what... There was a, a company that, um, that's what they do, is they just put Swarovski crystals on shoes. So I'm not sure, but I can maybe ask them. Hello, Weesa. All right. So now when we fold that, look at how, I mean, if you're going to, like, if you guys sell your cards, which I know a lot of you guys do, but, like, look, I mean, it doesn't get much more professional than that. Now I know, Sandy, why you wanted so many of these. <laughs> now I 100% know. Now, the cool thing is you can also, so again, these are the card guards, which I think we're going to sell of these tonight, and we or, we have a lot of them, but we may sell a lot of them tonight. Um, so I'm going to show you, even on a card that's dimensional, or a top folding card, like this, I'll show you. It just looks so nice, I think. Uh, Carolyn, pr we probably will. Um, eventually, I just the the ten was what we uh, what we were starting with. We could do we could do more at some point. We could definitely do more. We were just starting with 10 because that was like a, an obtainable, obtainable amount. Usually 10 is about the number of cards that most people have laying around. <laughs> Not me. I have a lot more than that laying around. But so look at how nice. I mean, just don't, they just look so professional. Isn't that cool for when you, you know, if you're selling cards or if you're get like, if you have like a whole group of cards like this and you wanted to... Um, oh yeah, I agree, Carolyn. We could do, we could probably do bulk. Um, but like, how fun if you're giving someone like a whole bunch of cards to give to someone else, how nice. I just, I just think they look so nice like this. I think they look really cool. Okay. Actually, let me go ahead and let's put this one in one too. Papyrus, that's what my mom calls it. All right. Oh my goodness, there I think I think there's like 10 mystery boxes left. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Okay. 35 cents a piece for a sleeve. Yes. Well, Carolyn, if you spend $85 to make the card... No, just kidding. <laughs> What's another 35 cents? <laughs> That's what I... Every time that I used to teach classes way back in the day, we had... Um, we had... Uh, I would teach square cards. Um, and everyone would get so bad out of shape. Do you know that you have to do an extra 15 cents worth of postage to send that square stamp or send that square card? And I would always say we already spent 10 grand, um, <laughs> on the supplies for that card. And, um, you're, you're worried about 15 cents. That's what I would always say. It was, it was, it was always because everybody would get so nervous. Do you know how much that, how much extra that is? Um, Okay, so this is, uh, look how cool these are. I just love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so we're going to do, I was going to say that is, they're my favorite size to make. Huntress, we used to, um, Huntress, your first name is, is Patricia, right? Am I wrong? Did I, did I say the wrong name? Um, I think it's Patricia. Um, but yeah. So I had to take a sip of my drink. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. I'm going to do one more. One more background with the beautiful. Go get some caffeine, Carol. All right. The beautiful background here. All right. So let's see. So now I'm going to grab Let's see. Another sheet. Another sheet of the Easy Cut Adhesive. Hi, Jerry. So we'll cut this one to hmm, four and a half. And then we'll keep it the full length. Um, the Christmas box is going to be revealed this week, Chrissy, I believe Friday. And who? it's a good one. I saw a card the other day for $14 um, that had, like, one of those wood cuts in it. Are you feeling better, Jerry? I hope so. Hi, Dee Dee. All right, so let's get back to doing some, some faux glass work. Pop this down. All right. Pop that baby down. Oh, you saw for more. Okay. I, I was going to say, I hope you do. All right, so this one I'm going to do in just three colors this time. Oops, let me burnish that down. So I can show you, and I also want to show you what it looks like with a little bit of a darker background. I was going to say, yeah, I've seen them real, the, really expensive. Oh, absolutely. Okay. All right, so we'll do, let's do these three. So we'll start with the green. And of course this expands like bunnies, just like the, just like embossing powder does. Oh, these shimmer flakes are gorgeous. Look at how pretty, oh my goodness. See, it always, always multiplies when it goes back into the jar. All right. Then we're going to do the purple. And I usually just use the whole thing and then dump it off. Very similar to how I've seen a lot of folks use embossing powder. There's the purple. Oh my goodness. Yep, just the adhesive. So you could, I mean, you could use a tape runner. You could use tissue tape. Um, I mean, you could use anything, really. Oh, thank you, Dee Dee. Oh, Donna, you have been, whew. We have um, mystery boxes. We have the new shimmer flakes. We have the card guards. We have to go back and watch in the beginning because we have, oh, we have been doing a lot of fun stuff tonight. All right, so there is the blue. So we did the green, the purple, and the blue. And now it's not going to look like much now. I mean, it does look really pretty now, actually. But it looks like so much more once it goes through the machine. Oh, my goodness. It does look like Easter grass. <gasps> oh, this is going to be amazing for the spring. Oh, I didn't even think about that. 
That is what they remind, that's what they remind me of too. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Thank you for mentioning that. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our Wait, what? Oh my goodness. No, I wasn't worried. She I told her today she almost knocked knocked the entire wall out downstairs. Heather Collins did. And I said um I heard her downstairs and I was like, uh, she's fine. She'll yell if she if she's if she's not okay. Um it's kind of like a chunky glitter Donna, but it's a lot lighter than chunky glitter. If that makes sense. And I hope it does. It's a lot lighter than that. Alright, so let's move this out of the way. She said that's it, retirement's over. Okay, so look at this. Now this is the wow factor. Let me zoom in a little bit. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Imagine this as the background of a card now. I'm just trimming off this part. Okay. Okay, it looks like we have limited supplies of the Shimmer Flakes. Whew. She, yes, she has promised me that she will, she will haunt me. Um, we are low on the Shimmer Flakes, but don't worry, we should be getting more in next week. So if it says sold out, um, they are in fact sold out, but we will be getting more next week. And I just want to show you. I'm actually going to use this die. This was another die of the month, which I believe is available now. Open stock on the website. I want to show you what we can do here. Oh, 100%. 100%, Donna. Absolutely. And the reason I didn't show you... We have another color, pink. The reason I haven't brought that back up, and I'm not going to lie to you, is because I accidentally dumped it all over the floor. So, cat's out of the bag now. <laughs> cat's out of the bag now. I literally dumped the pink all over the floor. Um, Heather has a really hard time getting a paycheck, to tell you the truth. <laughs> uh, and she will be the first one to admit that to you. Heather has a very hard time. She has a special basket that she checks out with every night. 100% true story. All right, so I'm putting a little shim in this time, which is... Actually, one of our media tags. Okay, so hopefully that helped us. We're going to put it through one more time. That should have helped us quite a bit, but we'll see. Okay, that went through much smoother that time, so should be good. Oh, absolutely, Robin, 100%, without a doubt. All right, so let's take a look at this. It looks like it cut through. Oh, I had something on the back of here, so hopefully it doesn't prevent it from peeling out. Hi, Monique. We're using the new Brutus No Shimmer Flakes. All right. And we're hoping and praying that this die, it might have, oh, it looks like it went through. Let's see here. Oh, she won't. She doesn't come into this room. She's not allowed. Too many, too many things she can get into. Way too many things. Oh, it worked. 
All right, so obviously there's a lot of pieces. This would be a great mermaid tail. Oh, look how cool. Now this piece had, there was like a sticker behind it. So there are some pieces that aren't going to come out all the way, but that's no big deal. Hi, Tracy. We um, were working on more thank you cards, but really what I was doing is I wanted to play around with these new shimmer flakes because <laughs> I am obsessed with them. So I'm not going to bore you and pull out all of these pieces, but I think you guys kind of get the gist of it. Look at how beautiful this background is. Brody and I had fun unboxing. Oh, that's so fun. Wait until you see. We have I have some tricks up my sleeves with enamel pins coming. These are the new Shimmer Flakes. Look at this background. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you guys. I mean, imagine. This is, again, one of those, huh, cards? Like, how did you do that? Like, when you give someone this card, imagine it with, um... I mean, imagine with, like, if you did, again, like, Christmas cards using, like, for the ornaments. Yeah, now it's turning into confetti. Oh, it looks like that had an extra piece in it. But, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to bore you by taking all of these pieces out. But look at that. Oh, put white card socket on it. Yep. Look at that. Oh, yeah, Carolyn, I didn't even think about that. You could absolutely do that. Oh, no, not at all, Jerry. They they do not see. I mean, I'm... You can hear with all of my might, and they're not going anywhere. I mean, it almost looks like it's like a... It really does look like glass. <coughs> Excuse me. That's the best way I can explain it to you. Is it looks like glass. And again, I did this one earlier. I tried to cut it out, but I didn't have enough pressure. But this is the one on the white. Yeah, they don't. Look, I mean... I mean, you might get one rogue one that will fall off. But, I mean, look at that. Um, It is like a mylar. It is very similar to a mylar. Yes. Um, Carolyn, I don't believe it will melt. I haven't experimented with that. Um... But you, I mean, I can experiment with that. Oh, yes, that it would look great. It's just so pretty. Oh, my goodness. But yeah, you could definitely experiment. I mean, I would say experiment with some heat. Like, maybe... Yes, Jerry, these are the first six, and we have six more coming out for the holidays. But I would say you could definitely try it. All right, I'm going to put these two cards in the card guards. Yes, very true. Uh, we're working on s another something of the month, Carolyn, but not Shimmer. You will you guys will find out very soon. All right, so some more card guards. I love these. Oh, that would it would be beautiful on vellum. Here we go. Oh, no, that's not vellum. Never mind. I was gonna tell you I was gonna do it on vellum, but that's not vellum. 
Let's see, do I have any vellum? If I have vellum, I'll try it for you real quick. And why not? Oh, good night, D. Good night, my friend. Sorry, that's the end of my water. Let's see. I don't think I have any vellum. At least no, none that's laying around here. Vellum is hard to come by in these parts because when I have some, I use it pretty quickly. Especially that shining, shimmering vellum. That stuff does not last long around here at Brutus Monroe, well, Brutus Monroe, or found some, or in my studio. Oh, and of the month craft space. That is so funny. All right. So let's grab ourselves some easy cut adhesive. Uh oh, do I have any left? That might be the issue. Um, da -da -da -da. there's my. Oh, and I have some really fun things coming from Arteza. Some videos. I just recorded some yesterday. Some new products. Thank you to everyone that uses the Arteza codes, or the Arteza, all well, the codes and the, um, I guess I can just use this piece, and the, um, oh, how fun, Belinda. All right, so we'll just do the center part of this piece of vellum, because then you can see what it will look like if you just do like a strip. Oh, that is crooked as the day is long. That's okay. Let me grab some scissors and chop that part off. We'll pretend it's for Halloween. <laughs> there, try. Yes, so it's, yeah, 25 and some change if um, you're a subscriber to get the whole set. If you have full set syndrome like I do, then you'll want the full set. If you don't have full set syndrome, you can just get a couple of colors. So they're, they're, um, um, with glue, anything that's sticky. So, I mean, you, you know, whatever you use that's sticky. Like what you would use to stick down, really, you know, what you would stick down to anything on your cards. I've used glue. I've used double-sided adhesive. They just look so pretty. Oh, my goodness. Yes, aren't the card guards cool? Oh, you can use zig glue. Absolutely. Whatever you would like. The glitter glue would work really well. It just depends on how patient you are. I am not patient at all. Um, I like instant gratification when it comes to crafting. Um, so that's why I use the dry adhesive. But yeah, the purple. Oh my goodness, look at the purple. Oh, doesn't get pr much prettier than that. If you love purple, and I know my Kara does... Um, Oh, thank you, Penny. Oh, I bet transfer a transfer gel, I'm sure, would work beautifully. Just make sure to apply it while the transfer gel is wet. Absolutely. That would be stunning. Second gold star. Penny, are you coming to the anniversary party? Oh, I would love to meet you. I don't know if you're coming or not. All right, so I just did that on the vellum. 
Now I'm going to run it through the die cutting machine. Oh, that's okay, Fatima. Heather will be there tomorrow. We'll be busy, busy tomorrow in the store. That is for sure. That's okay, Tracy. Not many do understand our addiction. <laughs> oh my goodness, yay, Penny, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I would absolutely show it with heat, unfortunately. Well, I can plug in my laminator. If you guys don't mind waiting a, a second to for the laminator to heat up. I'm not sure how I would apply it. Um, uh oh, where is my laminator? Oh, here's my laminator. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, hold on. Let me put my let me put my laminator up here while it heats up. Let me clean off my work area. Move the shimmer flakes. Yeah. I will show you with heat. No biggie. Remove some things out of the way here. Grab my Brutus and Rowe craft room cleaner. Mmm. Oh my goodness, does it smell good. Oh my goodness, does it smell good. Whoo, I love that Brutus and Rowe craft room cleaner. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It does not. Actually, I lied. It did leave my craft room to, because I cleaned the sink with it. I cleaned my sink with it. That is why it is. Which one is it? Which one is it? <laughs> Heidi, yes, that's true. Okay, you can hear my laminar. Okay, so this is what the vellum looks like without heat. Look at that. Um, Donna, we are currently. Um, we're currently, I believe we're sold out of them right now. But you can purchase the tissue tape, which will do exactly the same. Yes, Monique, we just released the craft room cleaner. Oh my goodness, does it smell good? It smells like sweet roses. So we'll put this through with heat so you can see what um, what happens with it. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? I mean, look at how, I mean, honestly, if you literally just did this, yeah, just uh, do a sentiment and you're done. This is that wow factor of people being like, well, wait a second. How did you, what, where? What is that? Uh, these are our new Shimmer Flakes. They come in six colors. The color that's missing is pink, and that's because I spilled it all over the floor. Um, <laughs> but you can see at the top of this one that I just did a little bit ago, the top of this one is pink. Um, so that's what the pink looks like. <laughs> um, I spray it all over the place. It smells so good. Um, so let's see, is this still warming up? Oh, I spray it everywhere. But look at how, I mean, that's just, that's just absolutely stunning to me. That's that kind of like that factor of, of like, so wait, how did you do that? <laughs> you know what I mean? When someone asks you on a card, like, how did that how did that happen how did that come to be and it's just so pretty um i'm sure you can absolutely oh i sprayed the pumpkin spice on me as cologne all the time i love the pumpkin spice wait until you smell our holiday scents yes it's like an iridescent glow it's that it's that real wow factor i mean it really is it's just absolutely stunning 
All right, so the laminator is heated up to what Royal Sovereign, Sovereign, Worcestershire, um, says is heated. So let's go ahead and pop this in here. And let's see what happens. And let's hope it doesn't curl up into the machine. Because I forgot to put a piece of cardstock. But I did use parchment paper, so... It shouldn't stick. It looks like it's coming through. I hope it melts a little. That would be really cool. I don't know, though. Okay. The survey says it did not melt at all, um, but it did flatten it down more, so that's really cool. It might have melted it a tiny little bit, so let's see. So let's run this big guy through. This will be the real test. Yes, pumpkin squeaky clean. It is the very last batch. I think we only have a couple more. Yeah, it does look even more like glass. Because it really, really smushed it down. And we'll see what it looks like on this one. Yeah, it does look... It does give it a, a very different look. It's really pretty. But it is a very different look. Yeah, let's see what it does with the cardstock. Again, I'm sure it'll be very pretty. Oh, yes. Look at that. I mean, it still looks very similar, but it definitely flattened it down more. Oh, wow. Is that cool? Thanks, Jerry. I love what I experiment to if it works. <laughs> Um, it's called Shining Shimmering. I'll find it for you. Hold on one second. We are working on... We're working on updating the website. So you will see... Lots of updates very soon. Hold on one second, Don. I'm going to post it. It might have been um, hidden on the website because we were low stock not that long ago, but we just got a huge shipment of it in. So let me let me find it for you. Yeah, really cool. It's really really cool. Oh my goodness, you guys! I, there's like six mystery boxes left. Sorry, I just noticed because I just went into the um, went into that part of the website. Ooh. Yeah, we are working on Oh, I found it. It was hidden. I found it. We are working on updating the website. And I know that uh, I know that a lot of you guys um, have been sending us feedback and things like that. And oh my goodness, do I appreciate it? Um, we are just—it's taking a little bit of time to get it perfected. That's all. Um, is what transparent? Oh, it does look like part of a mask. You are right. Okay, it's called... 
This shimmer stuff, it is transparent, yes. Oh, good, Pam. Your advent calendar shipped. Yeah, a lot of, uh, pretty much um, all of them, I think, shipped today, unless there was something that, like, we were waiting on to ship everything else with. Um, but, yeah. It should have, oh, here it is. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Here you go. Now, no peeking. No peeking, you guys. You have to promise me. I mean, you can peek. It's yours. You bought it. You deserve it. <laughs> you deserve it. You deserve to peek. You deserve that advent calendar. That advent calendar, if you're looking to get a gift for yourself for this um, for this season, the advent calendar is it. If you're a stamper, if you love stamping, if stamping is one of your favorite things in the world to do, I just treat yourself. I mean, I know that it's... Um, it's not a super inexpensive thing. It's $74.99. It is a pricey advent calendar. Um, but I did just see a advent calendar at the Pottery Barn the other day. Pottery Barn Kids, to be exact, for $110. Um, and that was just with little stuffed animals. It does come with 25 stamp sets. So um, treat yourself. You know, get yourself a little get yourself a little uh, Hanukkah gift or a Kwanzaa gift or a uh, Christmas gift or a whatever you celebrate gift. Or just get yourself, it's a Monday gift. Um, it's up to you. But here's what the advent calendar looks like. And no, I am not going to open up any of the little windows. I know. I already know what all of them look like, so I don't have to open up the little windows. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. But I promise you, um, you're going to love this. Oh, you're going to love it. I mean, how cool is this? A stamp advent calendar? There's 25 stamps in here. That is so cool. So like I said, treat yourself. You deserve it. Get yourself the stampy advent calendar. Um, while supplies last, uh, like I said, I, we are more than... Three quarters of the way sold through them. So um, I am, uh, Monique, starting the 1st of December, I'm opening a new window every day. All right. So that is everything I have um, for you guys today. Thank you all so, so much for hanging out with me. Um, go grab your goodies. So, <laughs> Carolyn. Uh, definitely a gift for stuff. Uh, so are all the steps. Um, they're all holiday this time around. Yes, they are all holiday related. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you for being a part of my life. I love you all so, 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 so much. Remember to create something every day, whether that is a beautiful and um, a chipped glass background using our beautiful shimmer flakes or your own ending. I love you all to pieces and more than you will ever know. You are all so, so, so uh, incredible. Oh, yes, I will check on those videos. Absolutely, Penny. Thank you. Um, see, I told you, Penny's on the payroll. She is on the ball. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your night. I love you all to pieces, like I said before, but I can't say it enough. Um, I adore you. You guys rock. Uh, you just, you... You're just so awesome. So thank you all so much. I will see you guys tomorrow. I have lots of fun things to share with you tomorrow as well. Have a wonderful rest of your evening, and I'll talk to you soon. Good night, my friends.